How does cake relate to homesteading? I'll let you know right after this beautiful sunrise intro. Sunrises really have been quite beautiful lately. Unfortunately, it's because of the wildfire smoke. There aren't any fires near us, so that's a good thing. And the air quality isn't bad at all. Really, you can only notice it here at sunrise or sunset when it really just makes the sky an unusual color. So beautiful sunrises, I just wish it was for a better reason. Owen, how does the cake relate to homesteading? Last week, I gave one of our neighbors a dozen eggs from our chickens. And this week, she brought over some dessert for us. So I know homesteading really isn't a piece of cake, unless it is. So what else has been new around here? Little DJ is doing a lot better than he was. You feeling better, DJ? Just a little sore on his mouth. Not nearly as swollen as it was before. I'm glad to see he's doing a lot better. Remember, remember those rabbits, those wild rabbits that were living in our yard? and we were pretty sure we're eating from Wendy's garden. It's kind of sad. One of those rabbits did die. It looks like an animal got it. We also lost two of our brand new quail. It's not unusual to have baby quail die. No real indication of what it might have been. Sometimes they just don't make it. The remaining quail are doing just fine. They quickly graduated from this shallow little feeding dish to a regular feeder. They were just getting in that little dish and spilling a lot of the food. Over here in the grill goat area, we decided to get some special bowls. For the goats grain treats. As you can see here, the goats have been a little bit hard on the wall feeders. How you doing, Rogue? Little 
Bonnie and Clyde have made it up on the big stump for the first time. Look at that. Ooh, good jump. Indigo. Indigo is not very good at sharing. I don't know if you can hear that, but one of our new chickens that we still have in the Mini Cooper, it's long since time since we should have moved them up to the coop, but one of them is definitely a rooster and is crowing in there. It's got kind of that higher pitched young crowing sound to it, so kind of cute. Let's see if they'll do it again. It looks like our young rooster just isn't going to crow on command. I actually just got back from picking apples at a local farm. They've got an orchard and it's a you pick apple as well as a farm stand kind of operation. I've been there before, great people, and I do love fresh apples. I'm out here at Albecki Farms again to pick some nice fresh apples. We're right at the beginning of the season for the Gravenstein. They've got a, I guess a couple of other varieties that will be coming on in September. I'm filming this right at the very beginning of August. And fresh apples are really one of my favorite things. One of the things I really like about living here in the Northwest, the most delicious apples in the world. We're growing some ourselves, but our apple trees are pretty small. We planted them ourselves a few years ago. There's more than more apples this year than, than last year, but clearly not gonna be enough. And I really do look forward to apple season. And it looks like we've got some good ones to choose from here. Going to the orchard is a lot more fun than going to the grocery store. The apples you pick yourself are far less expensive and the flavor 
you can't even compare. Oftentimes, apples that you can get at the grocery store have been genetically selected to have a longer shelf life for transportation and everything else that goes into getting them in the hands of consumers. These apples are just meant to be as delicious as possible. Wendy's been growing some peppers here in our damaged greenhouse, and so far they're doing pretty good. The squash out here are starting to do pretty good. Let's take a look at our tomatoes. So far we've only had one ripe tomato, but they did get kind of a late start. I think it's a beautiful garden though. Remember those peas? They're just about done now. We were kind of curious if this side would do better than that side. This side over here just never really flourished as much as that other one did, which is exactly opposite of what it was last year. It's getting pretty close to dark, and I'm gonna start moving these chickens into the coop. I've got about half of them here in this carry cage. The cage is pretty heavy, so I'm just gonna move them half at a time. People have seen me do this before. I'm just gonna put the cage, lock, stock, and barrel right into the chicken coop so the other chickens can see the new chickens and the new chickens can kind of see where they're gonna be before I let them out when it is dark. Hold on tight in there.
I don't know if you could hear me when I was in there. We've got about a half hour until it really gets dark. Then I'll let, let him out of the cage. And probably tomorrow night I'll move the other half. 